Good afternoon. In this episode, I'm taking you in Dinkelberg. It's nearby Batsekingen, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm taking you in this place because there's something that I'd like to share with you today. And it's something, as most of my videos are, in, the, in their nature, which is quite personal and I think most people don't like to talk about it don't like to talk about the things the difficult things in life such as your past and your trauma and how you can let go of those heavy emotional baggage that you have been carrying in your life and just to show you quick this is my environment it's quite nice and quite chilly actually I'm shaking so but I'm taking you to this place because aside from it's nice aside from it's expansive greenery around me and it's really a perfect place I guess to reflect and think about the things that you have done this week or the things that you have done in the last few days or even the last time that you have taken a pause and reflect on the things that you have done, at least today. So underneath this tree, I don't know what this tree is, but I'm taking the energy of the tree <laughs> to, to say to you what I have in mind today. And as an author, it's quite a struggle to maintain the routine the, the discipline to write each day and I'm honestly I'm in the period of rewriting the manuscript because I know that next month I will have to have it published ready but the thing is like most of my days are I always have this constant push and pull with things and I always talk about it because it's the most constant issue that I have to deal with in my life. A constant push and pull between myself and others, my ego and what my soul wants, the dichotomy of life and I think that I it's something that I have to accept and acknowledge that this will be a constant issue in my life. And same with my writing issues, my writing life, my writing journey in general, where I will always be in constant push and pull with my relationship towards writing and that's why I'm always reminding or always mentioning this point or this part in the most of my videos because I don't know if you're someone who, who's always in a constant push and pull with your writing although in your heart you know that this book Will make you happy or this at least finishing the manuscript will make you feel satisfied or gratified by let's say months in my case it's months of work and this is the third draft and I don't know if that's I don't know your writing approach or but whenever I do drafts and let's say this is my first draft I finish it when I do the second draft I rewrite it from scratch because I, th I think like this is the best editing process for me because I can look at the things that I skip and the ones that I usually skip are the ones that are most likely will be edited out so to save that time I have to rewrite to make sure that everything in this second draft is, are like the contents that I want to include in the manuscript same thing, after finishing the second draft, I'll proceed to the third, third draft. Same thing, rewrite from scratch. And I'm now at that stage, I'm already rewriting the second draft. I mean the third draft, rather. But, I don't know But it's some if it's something that has been, like, if it's some issue or constant issue in your life, but this constant push and pull is dragging me crazy. <laughs> Driving me crazy. It's. 
I have this drive inside. Like, although I talk like this, I, although I talk like I don't know, like at some ASMR. Like I don't scream. I don't like to scream because it takes so much energy for me. I talk like this, even to my mother, to my father, to my sister. I talk like this. I'm more of a listener than talker, actually. Although I'd like to talk, but I'm more of a listener than to talk. Because anyway, in my life, I'm I'm used to being dumped on with people's problems, and I gotta get used to that feeling. Like, well, people think that I'm a good listener. That's why they always lower their guards and talk their shit to, to me. I mean, I guess that's life. I mean, yeah. So going back to my problem, I'm already in my third draft. And then my conscious mind knows that next month I will have the manuscript ready. I should be, <laughs> because that's a deadline I set but for myself. I mean, that's as a self-publisher, you're the one who will set the deadlines, and even that you're struggling to follow. So what does that mean? What's in it for you? Even if you've published five books. Even if, let's say, you've published one, even if you publish twenty, I guess you'll have this constant push and pull with writing. And I noticed that whatever my relationship with writing somehow looks similar with how I relate with others, my love and hate with others. Because I think when I love someone, I hate to. I don't know. Because I hate towards people. It's like I hate their unconscious behavior, and then their unconscious behaviors are hurting me. Yeah, and I don't know if this is something that. Resonates with you, but this is my problem. I mean, I don't know what I'm saying now, but my husband says that we should go now. So I don't know if that's something that you like to hear from me today. But yeah, the, this is Dinkelberg. Everywhere green. Everywhere. So this will be the video today, and. It's so quite chilly now, and we should go. So, see you on the next one. Cheers.